Welcome to the Alcohol 120% demonstration. Alcohol 120% allows you to make backups of CDs and many types of DVDs. You can also store commonly used CD and DVDs as images on your computer which can be accessed at the click of a button. Let's begin by making an image of a CD. We will first image a clip art disc. By imaging the entire set of clip art discs, we can easily access the clip art by loading the image with alcohol 120%. If we had not imaged the CD, we would need to ensure that the CDs were always available and switch between the discs frequently to access each image. First, we will select the image making wizard item on the main screen to begin the process. The image making wizard is now displayed. The default information on this screen is correct, so we can simply select next. We now need to select the destination directory. Again, the default is acceptable in this case. But you could also put the image on an external hard drive or network if that is more convenient and it is permissible given the copyright terms for the CD. We will change the name of the image to the disk name so that we can easily remember the contents of the disk later. After we select the start button, alcohol 120% starts to create the image. This process normally takes three to four minutes, but the actual speed depends on the hardware you are using. For demonstration purposes, we will turn off the close this dialog box after process finish checkbox so that we can review the results. In most cases, you will want to leave this off. Alcohol 120% is used by people in all walks of life to protect their original media and make their work easier. Families back up games and movie DVDs to prevent children from damaging the original discs. Librarians and schools archive their media to protect the originals from the wear and tear that is inevitable with regular usage. Business users back up software titles to ensure that any programs they have purchased can be used even if the original discs are lost or damaged. Gamers use alcohol 120% to avoid having to reinsert game discs when playing games. Travelers use alcohol 120% to take information with them to av and avoid carrying large stacks of discs which could be lost, damaged, or stolen. Please remember that this software is not designed for the illegal or unauthorized duplication of copyrighted materials. Please make sure to check the copyright status and license agreements for your media before making copies. If you are unsure of your rights, please contact your local legal advisor. As you can see from the results screen, the image has now been created successfully. If you want to get additional information about the image creation process, you can review the log file and performance graphs. The log file and performance graphs. We can now close the wizard and use the image we created. To use the images we created, we first need to mount them into a virtual drive. Using alcohol 120%, you can create up to 31 virtual drives. This means that up to 31 different CDs can be loaded in your system at the same time. Trying to replicate that with conventional hardware is very costly and non-portable. When you install alcohol 120%, one virtual drive is created for you. This virtual drive can be loaded with a disk image exactly like a regular physical CD can be loaded with a physical CD. As you can see, we currently have one virtual CD on the system. This virtual CD drive is currently unloaded. Let's start by loading an, an image into our virtual drive. We will load the second disk of our clip art. As you can see, loading a disk is as easy as a simple drag and drop. No more searching for a CD in a drawer full of hundreds of CDs. Let's go to the photo clip art program now to see that the CD has been loaded and is recognized by the program. In this photo clip art program, the program loads the full image from the CD when a thumbnail is selected. As you can see, we can easily load any image that is on disk 2, but what happens if we choose an image on another CD? Let's try filtering the list of images displayed. We will filter for any images that contain the keyword CD in them. Because disk 5 isn't loaded into the drive, we need to load it. This is very easy to do with alcohol 120%. Just switch back to alcohol 120%. 
Now you can either drag disk 5 to the virtual drive or right click on the image and select mount on device. When we switch back to the clip art program you can see that the image has already been loaded off the CD. If we switch back to an image on disk 2 we will again be prompted to insert disk 2. We can return to alcohol 120% and change disks again, but having to switch back and forth constantly is still difficult even if we don't have to switch the physical disks. Fortunately, alcohol 120% makes it very easy for us to have multiple CDs loaded at one time, even if our computer only has a single CD and DVD drive. In the trial version of Alcohol 120%, you are limited to six virtual drives, but in the full version, you can create a full 31 drives. That's plenty of drives to hold several clip art libraries, many games, even several encyclopedias. To create additional virtual drives, first we select the, the virtual drive option from the main window. Now we just need to choose the number of drives we want to use. In this case, we will choose six, which will allow us to load all of the CDs which our clip art is stored on. After the virtual drives are created, we can load the disks that we need into the virtual drives. In this case, we need disk two and disks five through nine. Now that the drives are loaded with the disk images, we can switch back to the photo clip art program and view images from all of the different disks without having to switch between CDs for each image. Another option for quickly switching between images is the use of hotkeys to switch between images. To set a hotkey, we right click on a disk image and choose the properties option. We can then choose nearly any hotkey we want. It is better to choose more obscure hotkeys though to avoid interfering with the hotkeys set for a program. With the hotkeys set up, you can load a CD or DVD using the hotkey whenever a program requests a specific disk. When you are finished with the CD, you simply put it away by either unmounting the image or ejecting it. If you plan on using the image again in the near future, you can simply eject the CD so that it can be reloaded easily. If you will not need the CD, Again, in the near future, you can unmount the image. Thank you for watching the Alcohol 120% demonstration. For more information about Alcohol 120%, please visit our website at www.alcohol-soft.com. You can download a trial version or purchase Alcohol 120% from the website.